All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of all ads on your Android phone by just changing one setting. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, so as we know, internet at this point is filled with ads. Like, this is an example of a Verge article with, it just has a lot, a lot of ads. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not used to seeing this many ads because I actually have a network-wide ad blocker. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly get rid of all these. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to pop in to settings. Uh, and then, because Android phones all differ, what you're going to do is you're going to search for private DNS. And that should come up, or just search for DNS. Some setting like this will come up. So it'll take you here. We'll click on private DNS. And normally, it's set to automatic. Basically, your phone will just decide what to use as a DNS. DNS, for those of you who don't know, is a domain name server. And basically, when you type in like google.com, your computer isn't going to google.com. It's talking to a domain name server, which will actually send, give you an IP address, and then you'll talk to the right thing. So basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a new DNS. And this is the one that's listed here. So I'll have it linked in the description below. It's dns.adguard-dns.com. This DNS blocks ads and trackers on the web. So basically, it knows the list of servers where ads are served from, and it will stop those servers from getting to your phone. And it will stop your phone from reaching those servers to get that data. So I'll just have to hit Save. And now we'll go back over to Chrome. Uh, let's go ahead and reload this article. And now if I scroll down, you'll see that over there, there's these big blank spaces where the ads used to be. Now you will have these weird blank spaces depending on how the uh, website handles it. But you can see none of those ads are there anymore. So basically, just one little setting will change it. Now, the cool thing is this will work in other places too. So let's go back over. We'll go ahead and change it back to an automatic v, uh, DNS. And now there's a game that my nieces play. Let me open it up. It's called Slope Ball. It's a very, very simplistic game. Uh, let me just go ahead and die. Again. Okay, and there. So when you, when you lose enough times, you will get an ad like this. This is annoying. I actually don't know how to click out of this ad without having to touch something. Um, nope, that's, nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. OK, so you have to click something to get out of it. Basically, that's really annoying. So let's do this. Let's turn, up, let's turn our private DNS back on. And let's click out of this. Oh, that was terrible. And now we'll play again. Just go ahead and crash a couple more times. Sorry, I have to just show you guys that there are no more ads in this. Oh, yeah, OK, this. So we played two rounds. Oh, OK, we still have an ad. So some ads like this will get through because they're served by Google, and sometimes you can't block some of those things. It's just unfortunate, but that's how it works. Um, let's see if we can get out of this. Oh, that's really annoying. These ads are really annoying. Let's try one more time. Let's see if they still get these ads or not. Play again. Seems like it's every two deaths that you get an ad, so let's see if we get one this time or not. And see, we got no ad this time. So it's not 100% foolproof, but as you can see, it is working pretty well, I would say. Let's see, one more time. Ah, oh, there you go, no ad. All right, so with that, that's pretty much it for this video. Like this one if you liked it, subscribe if you guys loved it. And I will be making another video about how to do a network wide ad block. So this works on individual devices. And again, this works if you have an Android device. But what about if you have an iOS device? Actually, this would also work if you have an iOS device, it's just a separate thing there. But let's say you have a laptop. Let's say you just you have like other people in your house that you don't want to have to touch their device to block ads. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a network-wide ad block using Pi-hole. So stay tuned for that one. And yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.